Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Latina Marie. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to just be putting on makeup and chit-chatting with you guys because there's a lot going on in the world, in my life, and I just want to talk to you guys. I haven't been able to film for a while, um, doing makeup anyway, because I had a little rash under my eye and I did not want to put makeup on it. So I'm excited to be back in the cam in front of the camera today. Um, but I'm just going to be doing my makeup and talking to you guys. So if you're interested in seeing that, then keep on watching. Um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications and let's get right into this. So I'm going to start by putting on my foundation and everything because... And I'm just going to speed past that because... I tend to turn my get ready with me's into chit chat or into rants rather than chit chats. So because I be ranting and stuff, I don't be working. And so I just am going to basically chit chat while I do my eye makeup, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I mean, I have an idea in my mind, but I'm not positive as to what I'm going to do. So for now, I'm just going to put on my foundation and then I will be my base and all of that is done hopefully I'm not creasing um you guys see how long that took so that should tell you that it is not a good idea for me to be doing my entire face and trying to chit chat slash rant but yeah let's get into this eye look I got a funky idea in mind sorry you guys I am sweating it is so hot in my house right now my air conditioning is not working 
so I'm sorry again if you can hear my fan it's a little fan it's quiet it says it's quiet and um, it's pretty far away from me but what it is it is what it is um, I hope it's not too much of a distraction um, I think throughout this I might get pretty loud though so we'll drown it out but uh, I just really quick want to tell you guys what palette I'm for sure going to be using. I don't know if I'm going to dip into this other one, but I'm for sure going to be using this Neon by, uh, it was upside down, this Neon by uh, Profusion. I have a few products from Profusion. Um, they're, for a drugstore brand, they're pretty good, so I, I prefer, I, recommend them I definitely do um I have not used this one yet so we're gonna see if I still recommend it afterwards but the other one that I think I'm gonna jump in I'm not positive I'm gonna if I'm gonna actually use it or not but this is the gold rush by P profusion sorry this is a newer palette of theirs and I really like it. I like the combinations of yellows that they have going on and golds and whatnot. So I really like this palette. Um, I dipped into this one a little bit, um, not too much because of my eye, which mentioning my eye, can you guys notice that? Like sometimes if I move my face in a certain direction, makeup is not sticking to my face right here and I'm not sure why. Um, I'm gonna have to do like a serious spa day very soon because I think like my skin is just going through a lot right now so yeah we're gonna jump into this look I am going to jump into this gold rush palette because it has some browns and neutral colors in there that I can use for my base like setting my eyes or whatever so let's get into it so first, I'm going to start this off pretty light. I don't want to jump in too heavy with the conversation, but um, we're going to get there. Don't worry. Um, but I just want to start off really light and kind of give you guys an idea of what's kind of been going on in my life. Um, so a few videos back, I believe, I mentioned a little bit about me doing music and wanting to just pursue being myself on this channel and it's been really hard for me to get in front of the camera I mentioned that as well but I I don't know what it is lately I just been feeling like I'm there like I'm at that point where I'm ready to start moving forward it took a minute but I think I'm there so I've been in the studio a lot so I'm excited about that you guys I'm really really excited about it um, I'm really excited for you guys to hear what I've been doing um, I do have a little bit of my music on my husband and I's channel but that's like really old stuff but you guys are more than welcome to go check it out I will leave a link down in my description. Or you can just go check me out on Spotify. I have a few songs on Spotify already too um, that have been playing for some time. So I would appreciate that support. But no, seriously, um, I'm, I'm so excited about what is to come, especially with my music. So um, I've only been working with specific people and allowing certain people to hear what I have going on. Like everything that I do is very, not secretive, but so special to me that it seems like I'm being secretive about it because I just don't want harsh criticism. Like I'm fine if people don't like it, but I'm just not ready for, or I wasn't, now I, I'm, I'm ready to move forward, but I wasn't ready for the mean and rude comments because as I mentioned before my weight has been an issue with people um, not to say that they're right about any of that oh my gosh I'm so not sweaty but I'm shining I'm so shiny and it's so disgusting um, 
but I just have not been ready to hear what people have to say if they don't like it. Um, of course, I know everybody's not going to vibe with what I put out and what I do, um, whether it's music, makeup, anything, anything that I have an interest in. I know everybody's not going to love it. And I've come to terms with that and I've come to understand that. Um, when I started YouTube, it was really hard for me to cope with that and to understand why people weren't liking what I was doing. But at this point, I'm... I mean, I was grown then, but I'm I'm a big girl, and I understand that everybody's not going to like everything that I do, and that is perfectly, perfectly fine. So I'm dipping into, oh, sorry, just really quick, because I, I do like to tell you guys what I'm doing. So the first palette that I jumped into was the Gold Rush, and I did boost and then brown sugar so boost is what i did first and then brown sugar and it really just kind of gave me just a natural bronze kind of look so um now we're jumping into the neon palette and i'm going to start with logical this green color it doesn't look green until i do that there we go that's like true to the color right there so I'm going to jump in with that. It's very interesting. They only have one shimmer in this palette, which I'm cool with because I prefer mattes. But this is the only shimmer that they have in here. And this is called Psych. Psych. <laughs> so we're just going to dab this green. Very pigmented so far. So far. Sometimes I can put colors on my on my eyes and then all of a sudden they just start disappearing as I'm blending them. So, so far pretty pigmented for especially a drugstore brand, but for any brand that is for my skin tone anyway. But yeah, so that is something that I've been spending a lot of time doing lately. Um, just doing my music and loving it and getting ready to uh push it out you guys i know a lot of people say just do it time you know you don't have a lot of time and with the way the world is today that is <sighs> ridiculously true so i know that i have to eventually go ahead and move forward with um releasing stuff but I still, I, I want to be patient, I want to take my time, and I want to make sure that I'm doing it right for myself. So, if you are interested in my music, just be patient with me, okay? So that's just a little bit that's been going on with me. Oh, and homeschooling. I've been homeschooling. Oh my gosh, I almost messed up this look. So, um, I touched on that a little bit before this whole COVID-19 thing started that I was going to be homeschooling my kids and um, we did get started like two days before this whole COVID thing started and I have to say I love doing it. Today alone we um, did things a little different than we normally do which was so much fun. So instead of like having regular class like we always do, because I kind of conduct our classroom like a classroom just because that's what my kids were used to. So I didn't want to throw them into something so different right away. But next school year, they're definitely going to um, experience the uniqueness of homeschooling. Um, I ordered my kids school desk. And I'm so excited for them to be here. They're supposed to be here on Wednesday. Um, so tomorrow, because technically it is Tuesday at the time of this filming. So I'm super excited about that, you guys. And so are my kids, though. So I found some really cute ones that were character. Um, they had characters all over them and I was gonna get those but those seem like they were for toddlers and I don't have toddlers my youngest is five and he'll be six in like two weeks so I just didn't feel it was appropriate to get something like that just because they would 
even if they could fit in them, they would be growing out of them in like two weeks. So yeah, I just didn't with that. I'm going to be dipping back into these two Boost and Brown Sugar from the Gold Rush palette just so that I can blend this here a little better. I like these colors together though. I want to make sure that this green is super vibrant. I mean, like I said, colors seem to just kind of disappear on my face, which it's cool. It's normal. I'm, I'm used to it at this point, but I'm just going to keep uh, applying it so that it can kind of stay put for a minute. And then I'm gonna, wrong brush, I'm gonna blend it in the crease area. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good, pretty good. Um, now I'm gonna dip into like this very vibrant pinkish purplish color. Um, I'm probably going to mix it with Rad or Heat Wave, most likely Heat Wave, just because I want it to be more pink than this purplish color, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, so I just have to say, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to hold off on it because I know myself and I really don't want to get to that point where I'm built up and angry but it has to be addressed and I feel like it has to be addressed on my channel even though it's not like I'm in charge of anything um I am really disappointed that my um subscribers are not high enough for me to be able to have a donation thing going on on my channel because I would love to be able to contribute to that for people to, you know, the money that I make off of videos to go to um, organizations and um, helping getting protesters out of jail and things like that. So um, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm going to speak on by now. But this whole thing is just so heartbreaking. Like, I have to start there. It is, see, this is what I mean. I'll get into talking and I forget about doing my makeup. But this whole thing is so heartbreaking that I am having the hardest time believing that it's actually happening. Like, to wake up day after day and hear that it happened again. You know, someone else died again just because of the color of their skin is like, really this is what we're doing like we're not in a place like it's 2020 2020 like say that to yourself it is 2020 and there's really nothing better for people to be doing than to be racist like it, it like it makes me want to cry when I get on any kind of social media especially Facebook and I see that you know people are making jokes of the situations that are going on like it can't you can't be this tone deaf to the world like honestly I have a question and feel free um anybody I'm not gonna be super rude but feel free racist people if to answer in the comment section go ahead be be as rude as you want to be it's not gonna solve anything but Go ahead, be as rude as you want to be. So my question is, now let's say all black colored people, because it seems, it, it's very clear that it's not just black people. But let's say all colored people just was like, you know what, I'm fed up, we're leaving. And we go to different countries, different continents, and you know, we live out our lives there. My fan is squeaking. I don't know why it just started doing that, but it did just start doing that. So sorry if you can hear that. Side note. Um, but let's let's say 
that we all just, you know, give in, give up, throw up our hands, and we leave. What is going to happen now? Like, what is going to, like, how are you going to be happier now? Because let's make it clear. There are some white people in America, all over the world anyway, and they love us. Like they, they can, they love us as if we're just people because we are just people. So not only is, you know, okay, now we're gone, but now you have people who are upset that you've pushed their loved ones and their friends and some family away. So what good does that do for you? Like, I'm, I'm so curious as to what better it would make your life if I'm not here. Like, legitimately, what would it do for you? Like, I feel like these questions are not being asked. And it's not making anybody think. I mean, probably they are. But I'm, like, I'm legit wanting answers in my comment section at this point. What will it do? For us to not be here. Like what would it do for you? I just don't understand. Because history shows that. We really have not been a problem. Like. At all. Now do black people commit crimes? Yes. But so do white people. So does every. There's no race that's just not committing crimes. That's just not doing anything wrong like I this is I'm so like I can't even talk I'm so confused as to what it is though like I feel like I try to have this conversation with my husband side note by the way I'm not mixing this with anything because it turned out to be very pink on my skin so but I feel like I have this conversation with my husband and I try to have it with my parents and stuff. And honestly, I try to have the conversation with anybody who will listen because I feel like it's important. Like it needs to be talked about that, that badly to me. So I'll try to have the conversation with anybody that I can. But like, I'm just, I'm at a point where I feel like no matter what happens, of course there's always going to be that one person that just is not going to be happy. Okay, so like this. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place, but I'm not really. So, I right before I started filming tonight, um, I was on Facebook. I feel like I should just stay off of Facebook though, for real. But I was on Facebook and I was watching this video of these two older ladies at a restaurant I want to say it was a burger spot like Burger King or something but I'm not positive so that really doesn't even matter though but um the manager general manager was speaking his native language which happened to be Spanish and um the ladies were of course complaining, saying all the rude things that they can about how he needs to go back to Mexico and how he, you know, if you're here in America, then you need to be speak speaking American English and just all these rude things. And he mentions how he's not even from Mexico. And you know what is so ridiculous to me? It's ignorant when you say things like that as if all Spanish speaking people come from Mexico. Like, do you not know anything at all that that that's the only thing you can say? The only place you can tell them to go back to is Mexico as if uh, all these all these other places don't exist. Like, I'm I'm just so confused. Puerto Rico why do I want to say Honduras so bad? But I, that's not what I mean. But um, Guatemala, all these places that people speak Spanish, Cuba, all these places that people speak Spanish. And yet Mexico is the only place that I ever hear in these videos when I hear someone saying, go back to where you came from. Why is that where they came from? Why, why couldn't they have been born here? Like, I'm super confused about it. And then you want to take it another step further. 
isn't Spanish taught in school? Isn't it like required at some point in education? Isn't it, uh, doesn't it like get you better jobs to be bilingual? Like I'm, I don't understand the ignorance that can come out of some people's mouths sometimes. Like I, I seriously, like I'm not even angry anymore when I watch those things. I'm just super confused. Like I'm really confused. Like how do you feel you have the right to say that someone doesn't belong here and you're not even intelligent enough to understand why. You don't even know why you're saying it. That's what bothers me so badly. Like, at this point, especially at this point, like in 2020, anybody who's racist is just racist because they think it's what they're supposed to be doing. But you don't know why. You don't, like, you don't know, you don't understand why you're supposed to be racist. I feel like you're not asking that question. You're not even questioning your parents, like, well, hey, well, why should I be? Or even questioning yourself, like, what did they do to me? What, what harm have they brought to me that I need to be racist? Like, why is no one asking that question to themselves? Like, it seriously bothers me. Like, I get this intense anytime I think about it or I feel like I want to have a conversation about it. And I feel like it's important. Um, I hate that, and this might sound wrong, but I hate that in my mind, I'm in a place where I can't go out and protest, you know, because, and, and that's not to say that everybody's in a place to protest. I'm, I protest from afar. And I feel like it's not enough. And I hate that. But, you know, I have four babies to care for. I know they're not, they're not babies, but they are very young. My oldest is only eight. And I'm married and I'm only 29. I'm not ready to die over ignorance. Um, right now. Um, if I had lived my life or I didn't have my kids, I'd be ready in a heartbeat to stand out there and be ready to take a bullet for those protesters that are standing next to me and supporting the cause that definitely is for me. Um, so I hate that I'm in a conflicting situation and I have to choose and it shouldn't be that way. I shouldn't have to choose whether to stand up for something that I truly do believe in and that I know is right or my family, you know, that just does it. Like there are no white people on earth having to go through that. Nobody ever has to wake up and make a decision on whether they should go protest for something that they believe in and know is right or stay and take care of their family. Like it it's it's beyond not fair. Like even like saying it's not fair is like a waste of breath at this point because the, everyone knows it. I don't know if you guys have seen that video where the young lady is kind of um I don't know if I want to put this over here or I'm going to do it. Where the young lady is trying to talk to her parents about why they should not be racist and why they feel it's okay to be racist. And when the video starts, all you hear is her father basically degrading black, pe black people and talking about how black people are basically, in his mind, the only ones who live in the ghetto. Now let's be clear. Black people ain't the only ones who ain't finan like financially fine and we ain't the only ones who struggle and live check to check. There are plenty of white people on welfare. There are plenty of white people who live in the ghetto or trailers, which some people consider a white person's ghetto. Um, you've got rednecks who are basically the down south white ghetto. Like, I don't understand why, if anything bad is happening in the economy or in the world in general, that it's associated with us. Like, why are we, like, we're just the first people to ever have to struggle? It's, it's not a fact. 
maybe there are more of us who are financially struggling than white people but that's fine the why is why is that a problem like like i don't understand why that's a problem and she i guess his job entails for him to be in those parts of the neighborhood of wherever they live and you know am i saying that sometimes black people don't make trouble for themselves no but white people do too like i'm so confused as to what it is that they think we're doing that their own people is not doing like if there was legit something that we were doing that their people weren't like white people weren't doing then i'd be like yeah you know what we are what you say we are but it's not that way like there are lazy black people just like there are lazy white people. There are criminal black people just like there are criminal white people. There are dangerous all race people. I don't understand it, you guys. It's it's to the point for me that I feel like this is common sense. Like th you can't be this ridiculous to believe anything racist like it just it does and honestly because i remember like strictly remember this conversation telling my husband i was like asking him like where does he think racism started because honestly i don't think anybody truly knows like where it completely started because it wasn't i feel like bc there couldn't have, like, there just couldn't have been racism all the time. Cavemen weren't racist. Like, I can't imagine cavemen being racist. Like, I just, like, it just doesn't make sense to me. So, we were talking about it, and I just was kind of expressing how it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, one second, I forgot my eyelash glue, and that's what I'm kind of sitting here waiting to do. Sorry about that. So I'm telling my husband that I'm not understanding where racism came from. Like, it's just not making sense to me. And so I'm like, so it just doesn't make sense. Like, the first white person to start feeling like, and it may have not even been a black person that they started feeling racist towards. But I just remember expressing to my husband that it's jealousy like it, what but what did this colored person do or have that way back when for you to be so jealous that you've caused this this feeling this emotion that you have for colored people to drag all the way to 2020 Like, it just doesn't make sense. I, I, if somebody has the answer, because I don't think I know everything. Of course I don't. I've never been that type of person, but I do do a lot of research and I love history. And I can't recall, maybe I've read about it or something. I don't know. Maybe I've heard about it, but I can't recall. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming slavery was the first time. But then, even then, I can't imagine that being the first, like, great, I mean, I don't know. Like, do you hear how ridiculous th all of this is? It's just that ridiculous that instead of just somebody admitting they're jealous and moving on, that you caused a lot of problems. And it just don't make sense. It just don't make sense. Like, I wish I could be... Um, what's her name? Sally. What's that, that one lady's name? Sally Henson? Jensen? The older lady that does the blue eye experiments 
Um, Like, I think that's amazing that she does those. But I also think that white people aren't really getting much out of them because it's run by a white person. Um, which you would think would make you kind of open your eyes to it a little more. But I've watched some of those experiments and the, just, just the reaction that people give is like, you don't like being mistreated so badly that you'll use your white privilege to just get up and leave. Whereas I can't do that. If I don't like the way that, you know, someone's treating me because of how God decided to make me, I can't just decide I'm going to walk away. Like where I'm walking to. Because when I come back, I'm still going to be black. So what does it matter? Like, I, I just, I can't understand even though you've got things like that, you've got experiments to help you learn, you know, you've got enough, I think, I would, I would think you've got enough white people who have understood and do understand that there's no need to be racist. Um, am I saying that even those people who aren't racist don't have racist moments? Sure they do, but if you can recognize that you made a mistake or that you were having a racist moment and you want to make it better, who am I to tell you that you're a terrible person or even label you as, as a racist when you know that you did something wrong? I think racist people don't feel that they're doing anything wrong. And even if they do feel they're doing something wrong, they feel it's okay because they are who they are, which just doesn't sit well with me. I mean, it don't sit well with nobody with a brain, but I don't know. I feel like I really want to, it has always been my dream to do music, but to have a platform. Like I've always wanted to be in a position where people want to hear what I have to say. And not that I think that that'll make all the change in the world, but I think it could help. Like, do I feel like c celebrities and uh, people, do I don't feel like anybody's obligated to speak up, but does it help, you know, being in, in your position? Of course. So why wouldn't you? I just think, I don't know, I think everybody needs to pray. Um, I think this craziness that's going in the world, going on in the world, needs to be assigned to people that things have got to change and that you within yourself have to change. You know, if you're that person that is protesting one day and then next day you're out doing something illegal i mean you're you're not helping the problem you're not helping the situation um it's beautiful to see all these people out protesting and wanting better for all of us and um for the world that we live in but you know it doesn't help if you have people doing things that they shouldn't be, you know? And you know, you know what you should and shouldn't be doing, you know, if we're protesting, should we really be out looting? Is that what it's called? Stealing things? Like, destroy, I mean, I get it if you're angry and you want to prove that destroying stuff. Um, I don't know, I'll be honest, I probably would have thrown a brick or two. But uh, stealing would have done nothing for me. So I probably wouldn't have done that. But that's just me. Okay, this lash is not on right. So I need to fix it. But do you see what I mean? Like I get into these conversations and I just get so, not worked up, but passionate about what I'm saying 
but I like doing videos like this too. Gives you something to watch while you talk, while you listen to me, and potentially respond to me because, like, for real, I want to know people's answers. Like, what good would it do for like? Okay, if I disappeared tomorrow, if all black colored people b disappeared tomorrow, how now is your world changed at all? Like, like I feel like it's almost like. We can't be ourselves with black people around. But why? Why not? Like, that's what it feels like. I feel like in their mind, something actually will change if black people weren't around. Because my thing is, where did you get the idea that we're insignificant? Like... That we should be slave to you. I don't know. Like, I just, I have so many questions. Dude, it's crazy. And, like, I'm asking the wrong people. But this is, this is, I feel like, a good start. I'm getting to ask an audience. Um, and trust me, I've gotten racist comments on my channel here and on my husband and I's channel and it surprisingly doesn't hurt me as as much as I thought it would and I legitimately um if I can find it I'm not sure if I deleted it or not just because you know I don't want that on my channel but um I've had a guy um call me, and this was a man call me the n-word and a bitch and And I just felt like, for what though? Like, first of all, why are you watching me if you really don't like me? Like, if I make you that upset, why Why did you even click on my video? It's not like I deceived you by making you think a white girl was going to pop up. I, I, you definitely saw what I looked like. So I'm, I'm confused as to why you clicked on my channel. Like, I don't, and I don't understand it, but it, it also confuses me as to why you would think I care about what you think about me as far as that goes. Um, like when it comes to my appearance, like my weight and stuff like that, like everybody has weight. So, but no, it's never, I mean, I've never had a racist experiment experience in person. And so maybe that is why it doesn't hurt me the way that maybe they think it should but it doesn't it just doesn't affect me like that and I think that's a good thing that it doesn't affect me like that because that could ruin my whole life if this one word was to break me down like that and thank god it doesn't so water just water promise I lied. Water and aloe vera juice. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So this is my look. And I got earrings. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So I'm going to take this. Um, I was going to put a black eyeline on and then use these Fenty liners. Where'd they go? I was going to use these Fenty liners, but this pink is not the same. This is more like a peach than a pink. And then the green could have worked, but um, I don't know. I feel like this lash is just a lot, like, washing the green out, but, I don't know, it could have worked, but it's not the same green, so I'm just not going to bother with it, but, um, what I am going to use is this Trophy Wife Kilowatts. I have had this for maybe two, two and a half months, and I have not touched it. 
I have not touched it. I swatched it, but I haven't like used it. I just wanted to like see what it looked like on my finger. But that is a bling bling, guys. Blingity bling bling. I'm gonna use this big old brush and go in here and make myself sparkle. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's a lot. It is a lot. But I like it. See, okay. This is my only issue with these highlighters. Because I have the silver one as well. I can't remember what it's called right now. But, um, they kind of splotch in, in the place that I put it. So, like, I'm going, I'm going like this. So it's like all over the brush. So I guess I gotta like go in. But it seems like there's a lot where my brush lands. You understand what I mean? I mean, it ain't a bad thing, but ooh, ooh, it's not that bad. I mean, in person, it seems like a lot, but it's really not that bad. Um, I want the body, the body stuff. I can't remember what it's called. Body Glow. It don't necessarily got to be from Fenty because her stuff is expensive and I'm paying out of pocket for everything that I use. So, ain't nothing getting sent to me. I ain't on nobody's PR list. Wish I was, but I'm not. So, yeah. Um, but I do want some Body Glow stuff. I do have liquid highlighters that I sometimes use on my legs as that stuff just because I have so many and I'm not gonna get through them on my face and I don't want them to expire and like I said I pay for this stuff if I wasn't paying for it then maybe I wouldn't care but even then I think I would care I still would try to get through it all which is why I was so upset that my face was doing that and it seems like I kind of masked it a little bit but um so for my lips, I'm just going to moisturize them because I don't want this look to get thrown off by anything. So I'm just going to moisturize these babies so they don't look too dry, but I want them to be natural. And maybe I'll throw some glitter or something on them. I got what you want. This is the face moisturizer that I'm putting on my lips. So, moral of my rant was get over it. Be nice. Like, can we move on? Can we try to realize and understand that God made us all. He loves us all. He put us all here on earth for a reason and it's not so that we could fight. So let's learn to love one another. Let's learn to try to love one another at the very least. Like put in some effort to be a better person. What would Jesus do? Because this ain't it. This ain't what he would do, people. He wouldn't be telling the police to kill people for no reason. Like, like, come on. It's getting ridiculous. People are dying for no reason. And I know some people would probably believe that it was their time and God wouldn't allow that to happen if it wasn't their time. And that's not true. God gives us all free will. But it's your choice if you want to bust into somebody's house for no reason, no reason at all, and shoot somebody eight times while they're sleeping. Like, what harm did they bring you by being asleep? Like, legitimately, being asleep. Like, what harm did you feel you were in? What harm did you feel you were in by somebody being handcuffed and on their stomach? Like, I would love... For people to handcuff themselves, lay on them, lay on their stomachs, and try to endanger someone else. Please, please do it. I want to see it. Like I, I really legit want to see 
you harm someone while you're handcuffed behind your back and on your stomach? What, like, really, what can you do? Nothing. Like, these, these lame excuses for, I thought he was armed, I thought they were, are just lame excuses. Like, at this point, it's not even an explanation. This is a lame excuse to keep brutally murdering people for no reason. And what are you getting out of it? What Now, why is your life better because of that? How? That's just like the lady that called the police on that eight-year-old girl for selling water to raise money to help her mom or to go on a, whatever the reason was gets on the news and is bawling because she's getting death threat letters and people didn't understand her well you, this is something that you need to be thinking about like you can't make these phone calls or make these decisions and actions and then be upset because the consequence is that people are not going to be okay with it. Like what is going through your mind in the time that you're making these weird, like, cause that's what it is. Weird ass decisions to call the police or shoot someone as the police for no reason. Like, I just like, I don't know. Every, I feel like everybody has to start thinking like that officer that was um, working at, at uh, I think it was Rakers Island. And when they see us, when uh, Corey asked him, why are you so nice to me? And his response was, because if my son was in prison, I would want someone to be nice to him. Think that way. If that was your child, if that was your husband, if that was your wife, if that was anybody that you care about, would you want them to die that way? Would you, wouldn't you want someone to have gotten off their neck? Wouldn't you have wanted someone to just stop and think about whether they should make that call? Wouldn't you want someone to do that for you? Like, I don't understand why you don't, why people don't think that way. It's like, it's just... Like, it's foreign to people to think, would I want that to happen to my family? Would I want to get a phone call saying that my loved one was sleeping and and never woke up because the police came in and shot them? No. Like, if you wouldn't want those things to happen to you, how, how do you feel like it's okay to do it to someone else? I mean, this is kindergarten stuff we learned this in kindergarten the golden rule treat people how you want to be treated like and fuck all that common sense excuse my language common sense treat people how you want to be treated like this just don't make sense if you feel that this person is a criminal and needs to be thrown in jail then say hey you're a criminal you need to be thrown thrown in jail. If it's not true, you'll go to court, you'll get off, and things will be fine. Like, I feel like that needs to be happening more than it's happening. I, the court needs to be happening more than it's happening. It's just not making sense to me. You're filling up jails with men who owe child support rather than murderers who are shooting up churches and schools. And let's remember, those aren't black people. But yet we are the ones that you really feel need to be detained and killed and murdered and treated as if we're just animals looking for food on the street. Like it just does not make sense. And at this point, I am done with my rant because I feel like I can talk until I'm blue in the face. And I mean that to my soul. I can talk until I'm blue in the face about this. This is something that I've been so passionate about my entire adult life um i think when i started getting interested and in really wanting some answers was when i was graduated from high school but that doesn't even matter so yeah i just this is something that is i i i i want to see it in i want to see this come to an end because it has to at this point like I, like, I really want to ask all those cops, what did you gain, though? Because most of you, them have lost their jobs. Um, and it's like, what did you gain, though? Like, what did you get? 
that person's dead and you got nothing nothing you got a bunch of angry people what uh, what did you get though like i don't know so i can't keep ranting i've been filming for over an hour and it is like two o'clock in the morning two in the a.m you guys this is what i do for y'all so i hope you guys like this look i'm sorry if you don't rock with my rant and you don't like what I had to say I you know I'm I'm sorry that you feel that way I'm not forcing anybody to watch my videos thank you to those who did watch through the entire thing because I know I said a lot but I just I really want to see this world do better you know our our next generation is coming up and honestly I'm so proud of them they are so informed more informed than I have to say that our gener my generation was and honestly I think the generation before me and and so on and so forth we just weren't educated as informed as we needed to be so you know I give it up to this next generation that's I I I have faith is going to make a change like I truly do believe they're going to make a change so yeah, my uh, camera's talking to me now, telling me to shut up. So I'm going to do that. If you guys like this video, let me know with a thumbs up. The reason I did this look really quick, the reason I did this look is because of what I was talking about. You know, people just want to be themselves and I wanted to be myself. This is something that I would walk outside in and people would probably look at me like I'm crazy. Like, what's wrong with you? But let me be me. Let me do what I want to do. This is my face. This is my eyes. This is my makeup. These are my earrings. I'm asking anybody to look at me. Like, I think pe more people need to think that way. I'm not asking you to look at me. So don't think that I'm forcing you to. But if you look in, admire or look away. That, that's, it is what it is. That's just what we're going to put it at. Admire or look away. If you guys like this video, let me know with a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications so you never miss a posting. My name is Latina Marie, and I am out of here.